Hey, get back here. So today I want to go through my predictions for team of the year for this year. Now, I don't necessarily know if it's uh, great to invest in these cards because we don't know their stats. We don't know other, a lot of other people might be investing in them, but probably a good general guideline for, hey, maybe these guys might get their spots at these positions. Now for the list, I tried to go just like every other year, like this is last year's list. Um, there isn't really a whole lot of teams that get multiple players. So you might get a crossover once in a while, but generally, like we see here with Chubb and Batonio, but most of these cards, they try and keep it from multiple teams and not have one. Cause like for like the all pro list, like what, like the, the Packers got, uh, Green Bay got one, two, three, four, and uh, is there one on defense from them or not? No, that's it. Four guys on the team. Oh, no, they didn't go. No, they didn't get Jay. I'm surprised they didn't get Jair. Um, so they got four on the team. But I think we're going to try and keep it a little bit lower than that. And obviously, players will be getting cards for honor. So I think EA, they generally avoid those cards. So basically, Aaron Rodgers is not necessarily a lock lock, but pretty much a lock for M uh, MVP. So I won't be uh, giving him a team of the year card. Derrick Henry could be offensive player of the year. So I'm going to pass on him and choose another running back. Um, the other one, defensive player of the year, TJ Watt, most likely will get it. And I think I'm going to pass on him and wait for his honors card. So he won't be a team of the year. And then uh, rookie of the year, I'm not going to give it to. I'm guessing that's Herbert on offense. Jefferson's got a very strong case too. Uh, and then defense. More than likely will be Chase Young. And then we have a fantasy player of the year. Josh Allen, uh, I think, scored the most amount of fantasy points. He could get it. Obviously, they could give it to a running back like Kamara or uh, Cook. But uh, Kamara's got a very high card, so it could go to Cook, too, for the fantasy. But that's an NFL thing, not a Mutt thing. So they don't really care how high their Mutt card is for fantasy player of the year. But let's go on to the list. And uh, I'm going to kind of show it to you right there. It is. Pops up. All right, so we're going to go down and kind of like give you the stats or maybe uh, the cards in mud. I think the quarterback will be Deshaun Watson. Um, I don't know how much you guys want to see about their IRL stats, but we can show a little bit of it. I mean, like he threw for a lot of yards on a pretty, pretty, uh, I'd say not good Texans team. Even without, you know, they traded his number one wide receiver for the year and uh, 4,800 yards, very respectable. And I think any team that lands him because he wants out of Houston will be better for it. Um, before the rest of them, let's go through the sponsor. Rock Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your Madden 21 coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 15% off. So, of course, with this, you don't also want them to be too high, right? Like, if a card just recently got a 95 card, I'll probably generally pass on them. For the biggest example, like Jalen Ramsey just got a 95. Josh Allen just got a 95. And I'm like, maybe he gets an honors card and they give them to them and then. Uh, that's why I don't think Josh Allen will get the Team of the Year card. So, uh, one of the reasons why. But, you never know. Anything can happen with EA. Like, we just try and predict and get close to it. Uh, but that's what we're at right now. So, Watson is going to be my quarterback. Obviously, there's a lot of other choices. Four top-tier quarterbacks. Uh, we can just, you know, go to best, like, season leaders. Um, look at the uh, passing yards. We can go, oh, no, no, no. We want to go to, like, uh, I got to sort by it. I, I guess it doesn't really freaking matter. Um, but. Anyways, let's go on to the list. We don't really need to look at that many stats. So, next at the halfback, I'm going to go with Chubb. I've mentioned why I don't necessarily think it's going to be Derrick Henry. We had a lot of um, uh, great uh, performances this year from the running back spot. I think it's going to be Chubb's that, like I said about um, Kamara, is that he is he you know got a recent card. It's pretty high overall, and I think Chubb, is pretty deep. I was, I'm looking for like rushing yards, rushing attempts, rushing yards. So uh, obviously Cook is there. Um, Aaron Jones could very well get an upgrade, but Green Bay's got a few cards. Chubb played very well um, when he was, you know, healthy. I think he was injured a little bit too, so maybe that takes it off. Maybe they go Delvin there. I could totally see Delvin at the uh, the spot because Delvin Cook's card. Um, it's only a 90 overall. But when you look at Chubb, Chubb's at a 90 overall too for the Durham versus the world. So that that's a toss-up right there between Chubb and uh, uh, Cook right there. But uh, yeah, yeah, I went with Chubb. All right, third down running back. 
I believe JD caught the most out of any third down player. I mean, this could very well be James White. He's won it in the past. I'm basically going off uh, the categories they had last year. So when I when I show you this, they had last year. As you see, it says Mutt 20 Team of the Year third down halfback. Like I'd love to do two good halfbacks. Like I'd love to do Cook and Chubb as the halfbacks for Team of the Year, but. EA gave them different positions, so that's what I'm kind of just copying for this year's game. If you're wondering why I decided to go a third down running back, put a fullback there, a slot receiver instead of just going the best three receivers, this is based off EA stuff. Um, so if they, I, I would rather them go with best two uh, halfbacks get cards, but uh, that's kind of what it is. Fullback, we'll get our. Uh, I was gonna do use check, and, and this is one of the reasons why, like, I tried to spread it out, but I had a niner somewhere else, so. Ricard is going to be my guy from the Ravens. I don't think I got... Oh, no, I got one other Raven on here. Uh, but, uh, you know, deserved, I think, for the other guy. All right, next up on the list will be, you know, one of those all-pro Packers. Devontae Adams is right here at the number one wide receiver. And it's tough to give him a wide receiver because they're also getting another studly card. The second wide receiver card that I think is going to be there is DeAndre Hopkins. Now, obviously, the other choice based off the all-pro team... They got uh, Diggs. They got Tyree Kill. Tyree Kill recently got a high-end card. I can show it to you right here. Tyree Kill's got like basically a 99 speed perfect card. Uh, Diggs would be a very good suggestion. And I don't know. He needs an upgrade. I'd be surprised if he doesn't get a Team of the Year card. Like, I maybe should have put him over Hopkins. But I, uh, they're both the same overall. And they, I think PFF liked Hopkins slightly better than Diggs. Um, actually, I can go look that up right now. Position wide receiver. They liked, uh, actually, no, Diggs, Diggs came in over Hopkins. So, yeah, maybe it will be, uh, Diggs over Hopkins for the list, but we're gonna leave Hopkins there because we got, uh, I think we got another Buffalo guy, don't we? Buffalo, 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 Buffalo. Yeah, uh, the slot receiver. I'm gonna give it, like, I was gonna do Keenan Allen here. Right? Because Keenan actually took more snaps in the slot than uh, outside. But I don't think a lot of people think of Keenan Allen as a slot receiver. So I'm with Cole. Um, I don't know. Slot's a tough one to nail down. Uh, but uh, we're going to Cole Beasley. I'm not going to say anything more about that. I would love the, the other one to be Diggs. That's why I didn't go Diggs and Cole. Um, because I didn't want two receivers on the same team. But I think Cole is pretty good there. Travis Kelsey, the tight end. Now, this one this one is really up for it, right? If they decide to go with another... I could totally see Darren Waller getting this. Waller, Waller's fantastic, dude. That guy dominates. Uh, but, you know, that's you know Kelsey's the same way. So, tight end could be either one of them. I'm going Kelsey for now. But I could easily see some shifts, and I'll talk about those shifts at the end. Uh, like if one domino falls, that's going to kind of like change the teams for a lot of other ones. And I could see some other guys uh, falling with it. All right, so talk about... When I mentioned the Niners earlier, Trent Williams, I'm going to go at left tackle. Uh, we're just going to fly through this. Quentin Nelson, we got our Colt. We got a Lion, a Cowboy, and a Brown. Now, you're like, oh, is that the only Brown? Because there's another very, you know, big name Brown coming up here in a couple uh, question marks. But we'll talk about that then. The offensive line, I'm pretty confident with them being uh, amongst the best. Maybe not the best. I didn't want to go a double brown side or else it would have been like Wyatt Teller here instead of Zach Martin. So I didn't want to do a double brown back to back. So I chose Conklin because right tackle is a little bit thinner. And especially if you like look at the overalls of the cards, like these guys don't have high overall. Like Conklin definitely needs an upgrade um, from what he has an 83 overall. So Conklin, I think, does get the team of the year car. We got the, our card. Rag now um, gets an upgrade from an 85 superstar. He hasn't been upgraded in months. Um, Quentin Nelson has actually got a decent car, but is that fullback, right? Is a really, you know, next gen, that thing's a beast because weight matters more next gen. But he hasn't been upgraded since most feared. A lot of these guys in Team of the Year hasn't been upgraded since most feared. So there was a lot of them. Actually, we got quite a few from most feared that are going to repeat it for Team of the Year from basically what it looks like. And then Trent Williams got that 88 overall card or an 89, I think, powered up to that I don't really need to go through. Left end, right end. We're going to go with... Let me make sure. Like, this is one of those things that I, uh, it could be one of those dominoes that fall, right? Um, he was injured for a bit, and so he graded out really high. Um, I, I, my, my thoughts right here were between a few different things, all right? The one I'm going to put here is, I don't know if I love it. I don't know if I, I love this choice, but 
I'm going to go with my Charger here. But I did have this guy. He was graded decent. Otherwise, it'd be something like a, a Steeler player if another Steeler player doesn't get it later. And I'll show, I'll show you. Uh, all right, so position, left end, right end. Um, team and I, I like you know it was like oh Steeler card of course you're a Steelers fan they're gonna be this litter with Steelers and you don't have that many so these guys are kind of low overall for basically how much they contributed this guy had ten and a half sacks on the year um, so I could see maybe two getting a left end right ends you know, already locked down you guys probably know who I'm talking about but like left end could very well be there but he just got his team standout so I was like. Ah, will they do that? I mean, the standout came, like, what, is it over a month ago now? So it's been a little bit, but left end was a little bit, like, uh, the edge was a little bit tough for me, and defensive line was a little bit tough for me. There was a lot of guys that had decent years, but, like, you look at the, the, the stats and leaderboards, let's look at, like, sacks or something. Like, you know, Von Miller got injured right before the year. That's tough. Where the sacks go? Sack percentage? No. No, no, no. Leaders... Where are they at? Uh, maybe I'll just Google it since I can't seem to find it right here. Sex. All right. View all players in this category. T.G. Watt was number one. All right. That. All right. There we go. Sex. All right. Donald. Oh, come on. My computer's running really slow. What is happening to PFF? All right. Trey Hendrickson. We'll talk about it in a second. Reddick just got a card. He just got a 95. Zadarius Smith. I didn't want to have another... I could see him getting the card. Um, he's not an end, but uh, we'll talk about outside linebacker in a second. I totally see him getting a card. Zadarius Smith is great. But the problem is, there's a couple other Packers that I kind of think should get it, too. Packers had a lot of studs on their team this year. Miles Garrett, we'll talk about in a second. Williams, D-Tackle, solid. Then we got down to two it, right at left end. Oh, 11 sacks. Sorry, 11 sacks, not 10 and a half. Leonard Floyd. And then we got like Jamal Adams, who's a strong safety, getting sacks, kind of bit, kind of bit. And then Jason Pierre-Paul there. So like, there's a few options. It was very hard to choose here. Um, so this could be to it, but we're gonna leave Bosa for now. I, I actually, this is my like least favorite pick for Bosa because uh, if you look up Bosa's stats, PFF loved them, but there is a uh, you know the Bosa problem. He only played in 12 games, started 10, seven and a half sacks, but. Uh, he made an impact when he was in the game. So, I don't know. I guess Bud Dupree had eight sacks in 11 games. So, ah, I think both of the two. Let me know what you guys think should get at left end. I'm just going to move on. Right end, I think it's just locked down. Um, right end is just locked down with Aaron Donald. And that's the problem. The fact that I can't, I can't give it to Garrett uh, because uh, I don't like him. But he's a right end in game. Would they switch him positions just for team of the year? Maybe. Uh, they can do it, but like the fact that he's behind Aaron Donald means he's not going to get an upgraded card. He does have an upgraded card from here. He's just not listed on Mudhead because we got it for that uh, was it house rules. He's got like a 93 overall you can power up to. So he's got a little bit higher overall card here, but man, that sucks that uh, Aaron Donald's there. I could throw him at like a rush end, but he's not really like a... He like plays every down. Rush end, I decided to go with Trey Hendrickson. I was going to do Cam Jordan here too. Right, Cam Jordan would have been a perfect spot. But the thing is that I gave I gave Rush and and Trey Hendrickson. But if like Jordan goes here, because Jordan definitely needs an upgrade. Uh Cameron Jordan. I could see him being the left end too. But then like my rush end changes and man, it was it was I, I probably thought about this for like 10, 15 minutes. I was going through it. I just like, I don't know what to do. Do I give two Saints for the for the pass rushing stuff? For the defensive line? I mean, they kind of deserve it. Alright, so I just kind of, I don't know, fickled out. Defense tackle, Chris Jones. Uh, I don't know a lot of people that are going to have a problem. I think Buckner, because he became the all-pro, people might have a problem. I gave Quentin Nelson the guard slot. So maybe Chris Jones becomes uh, Buckner there too. Rush DT, I'm going to throw. Did, did Graham win this last year too? Let me take a look at last year's. Who's the Rush DT last year? No. Yeah, Geno Atkins won it last year. Oh, you're not with me. Geno Atkins won it last year. Grady Jarrett won the defensive tackle of the year. Um, so that's what I'll go with there uh, for those two positions. But I'm going to go Brandon Graham at Rush DT. Uh, left outside linebacker. Uh, I mean, uh, just a force. Cleo Mack. I don't, I don't, I don't think I have to, like, freaking 
explain why Khalil Mack is there. I mean, Mack is just Khalil Mack. He's been dominant for years now, and he deserves it. He only has got a 92 overall card, so that should be boosted up to 98 overall with the power up. Probably 97, right? Do you think he'll get one of the 97 cards? He got, uh, I don't think he got, yeah, Aaron Donald, and there was one of them last year on each side of the ball, Russell Wilson and Donald. I think Donald will probably get the 97 again, too, uh, being as he's Aaron Donald. Even though, you know, he was injured today during the game. So, yeah, GG to the Packers and uh, GG, well, to both teams there. Uh, to the uh, Bills for winning to get to the AFC Championship. So best of luck to both those teams in the next rounds. Uh, I'm rooting for them. And uh, we'll see what's happening today and Sunday. Middle linebacker Fred Warner. And, like This is like the Bobby Wagner Express, right? Middle linebacker's always been Bobby Wagner. I think Fred Warner slightly outplayed him this year. But if they do Bobby Wagner again, I would not be surprised. I mean, we can look at their overalls in game here uh, to see. But Warner sticking at an 89 overall. So he desperately needs an upgrade for how well he's played. And then Wagner uh, is at 95 overall, zero chill. So he's in less of a need an upgrade, which is why Mr. Warner went there. Okay? And uh, sub linebacker, I, I was really interested they gave me a couple of middle linebacker slots, but I want Levante David. He's not really a sub linebacker, so it's kind of like a bad spot for him. JP Peeve, I guess, would have been good at left end if I didn't have him here for the Tampa Bay. Um, but yeah, Levante David, I'm like, well, he needs a card. He's good, but like... I don't know, it's tough. He's an every-down linebacker. Uh, but, yeah, Levante David, last upgrade was most feared. I just wanted to show that to you guys. So getting an upgrade for him is is needed for how well he's played. And it's too bad linebackers don't jump because he was always great. Right outside linebacker was another one I really struggled with. This is where I'd put Zadarius Smith. So this is what I was kind of thinking. Of. He, he'd be there. I'm like, am I going to throw another Packer on the list? I can't say I love it. I can't say I love this for team of the year, Miles Jack, but he is, you know, a team that's not represented. Um, I should go Miles. Um, he played decent on the on the on the year. Uh, he did for the the Jaguars, but uh, I yeah, that's another one I spent like ten minutes trying to figure out with all my permutations with all the different teams and stuff that I can't represent over represent because these guys right here, Zayvon Howard, hundred percent needs it. Zayvon Howard's long overdue for how well he played this year. Zayvon Howard definitely needs an upgrade. That's OJ. Sorry, Zayvon. 86 was the last Howard card. So, that one's there. CB, this is where, like, this is the reason why I didn't put Zadarius here. Now, they could easily go with another corner here instead of Jair. Ramsey literally just got a card uh, with a playoff promo or else he would have been here and then I would have thrown uh, Zadarius here. We've had two Rams on defense, but it's like they deserved it. So I'm okay doubling up on a couple teams. Ideally, you don't want to double up at all. But I mean, let me know who, who should I replace Zaire with, or Jair with if I go Zadarius here at right outside linebacker. Let me know, guys. But I think Jair's, you know, just great. Number one PFF corner I saw. Um, slot corner will then be Jonathan Jones. Did he win that last year? I think he was a slot corner last year, too. Uh, yeah, Jonathan Jones was the slot corner last year, too. So, repeat as it. He had a good year. Um, so, we're going to have Jonathan Jones there for your Patriots team. And the reason why Jonathan Jones right here was the reason why I went McKissick here instead of, like, you know, James White, who was, like, the third down running back uh, archetype. Which is funny because didn't he come out of college? And, like, they're like, hey, he can't catch balls. Uh, free safety. Now, this is where I'm throwing. I want to throw Minka. He got he got a card for the winter promo, so it's not like uh, been too long since he got an upgrade. But I can totally see them going Buddha, but Hopkins got a card at wide receiver, so I almost think if this if Jesse Bates gets it at free safety, because Bates needs an upgrade bad. He's been like one of the best safeties in the league. We'll show it to you, Jesse Bates. He's only got an 88 team of the week, so if Bates gets an upgrade there. But free safety. And, of course, Team of the Week uh, next week will kind of show a lot of this stuff. If Bates gets that one, then that's great because that brings a cascading effect. Then I could put Steven it here instead of Minka. But I originally had Minka here because I think Minka is the best free safety in the game. Um, and uh, that's why I had him there. But if he doesn't repeat as free safety, Buddha could get there at free safety too. I could see that happening. Now, strong safety class I think is going to be Jamal Adams. For the Seahawks, okay? So, I think Adams gets that. 
And uh, he, I mean, we'll take a look at him. Otherwise, another another option there is Harrison Smith for the Vikings. But Adams hasn't been upgraded. It feels like a while. He got, I guess he did get an out of position card as a linebacker, but it's been since ultimate kickoff for a Jamal Adams card. So it does feel like he needs a card. But yeah, otherwise this card, this card's nice, right? A fast outside linebacker. It's nothing worth uh, doing uh, wrong there. All right, kicker Justin Tucker is going to be uh, my my kicker because I mean, I feel like he's been the best kicker in the league for a while. Although he did miss two today. I don't know if it necessarily changed anything, uh, but, uh, man, that wind was crazy. So, I don't know if it's necessarily on him because that wind was, like, affecting the ball out of, like, the quarterback's hands, making it hard for the receivers to catch it. They're overthrowing passes. The balls are sailing. And uh, that's playoff football for you, right? That's why the run game's so important that they used to say, oh, it's run games that win because they used to only throw the ball vertically down the field and then the playoffs would, like, veer wildly off course. Like, yep, can't win through the pass. The playoffs got to run the ball, bro. But then you get like guys, you know, in New Orleans, you can play in a dome. You only have that problem in the playoffs, and you can win with a passing game pretty easily. All right, now the punter. I mean, I don't know, dude. So I don't want to give two guys from Detroit the uh, team of the year cards. One center and a punter. PFF had Jack Fox at number one. Um, I think I want to go with. So we're going to go with Michael Dixon there at punter. It was, uh, you know, I don't know. It's tough to decide. Team of the year, punter. They're all very close with net yards, yards punted. But I think Dixon's going to be my dude. And kick returner, punt returner. It's tough to come down to uh, who you want. Um, it was, you know, I think the best kick returner, punt returner. I'm going to go with, uh, let me get the, the name up, Andre Roberts. I kind of wanted to give it to Cordell Patterson for kick returns only because last year, they gave it to him. He said uh, uh, kick returner of the year. But, uh, you know, it's tough because Andre does not both and Cordell only does kick. So, it could be. It could be either of them. I actually have no problem if we take a look at uh, their overall. I mean, Patterson's got like a 92. Uh, Cordell Patterson's got a team standout, 92 speed with that. He's a solid cart. But we look at uh, Roberts himself. Andre Roberts. Not so much. So another another Bills. I mean, wide receiver. Is that okay? Maybe that's wrong. Maybe I will go Cordell Patterson. Yeah, we can't do another Bill right there for that position because that'd be like two Bills a wide receiver along with Cole. That's why I couldn't do uh, that. So we will we'll, 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 we'll sub it out. We'll do a little uh, last second sub for Andre. We'll do. Correll Patterson. I think he's actually gonna. I think he's the odds-on favorite to do it. Uh, but uh, I wanted to do something that did them both for uh, a second there. Um. Anyways, that's it for the list. Let me know where you guys think I did right, did wrong. Um. Who you guys would have instead of my places? I mean, every single spot. Like this could be used check. You know, then that that could change Trent Williams over to a left tackle change. That could be Bakhtiari then, but then Bakhtiari, I have too many Packers as it is, but then my right outside linebacker could shift over. So, a lot of moving pieces. Yeah, there it is. That's my team of the year predictions. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you did not. Otherwise, I will see you later. Good luck to your football teams. Again, congrats to the Pack and the Bills for advancing to their championship game. See ya.